I don't know, so you know what folder it's under, knock yourself out. I don't. I'm just going to go all packages. Go down, BSD subsystem, and hit install, and install. Pretty big file, so it's going to take a little bit. It's like 5.1 megs, so just give it a second. Okay, and it'll say yada yada. Bunch of random junk, you can read it if you want. Which just an alert for 1.1.3, which we're not on, so it doesn't really apply to us. Okay, just gonna install the package. Let's keep sitting there. <sighs> okay, and it looks like we're done. Alright, now going to. Ah, didn't mean to click that. Come back. Go to all packages again, and scroll down back to where you found BSD subsystem and you'll see right there BSD subsystem 2.0 term fix so tap on that and install that and it's in okay and then once that's done you're gonna hit the home button and it's going to respring okay slide to unlock now go back into installer and hit all package all packages again, which I keep accidentally hitting recent packages. Okay. Now scroll down, it's called S U I D Libfix. So it'll be at the bottom here. Get down there. I'm sorry if you can hear my baby sister, she's being loud, but okay, and we're almost there. S U I okay, S U I D lib fix right there. Now, yes, I'm aware it says fix for 1.1.3 only. That's just because when this was published, 1.1.4 wasn't out yet. It works for 1.1.4, and you need it for 1.1.4. So just download it anyway. Trust me, it's going to be fine. Okay, then once that's done, the home button, let it respring, and slide across. Okay, now go back into contacts, make another new one, go in, and type for 10 seconds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, once more, cancel out of it, cancel, cancel again, and don't hit the home button until you get back to the screen, and then once that's done, you should be able to, hopefully, open up installer, and your keyboard at this point should be working, so we're going to test it, if I go to sources, edit, add, oh come on, my stupid battery is about to run out again. All right. Well, you're going to get to here, and you're going to type in this source, which I'm going to put in the description of my video. It's uh, iPodTouchMaster.com/files/repo.xml. I believe that's it. I can't recall exactly, but uh, I'll put in the description what it actually is. Hold on, let's see if I can remember. iPod Touch. Master.com slash files slash repo dot xml. Okay. And what do you know? I got it right. Okay. So again, I'll put that in the description of the video so that you don't get messed up. And I'm pretty sure my battery's going to die on me pretty soon. But as you can see, the keyboard didn't freeze while I added my source. So if it doesn't freeze that first time right here, then it's never going to freeze. That, just, that means you did it right and it worked. Now if your keyboard does freeze while you're adding that source, then you just need to restore your iPod. Just basically go back to the beginning of the video, do it all again. Restore, jailbreak, and then make sure you do 10 solid seconds of typing randomly, people. 
10 solid seconds. You can go over, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is go into settings, go to general, go down to auto lock, and make sure it's set to never. Mine wasn't, so set it to never. And then X out of that, and again, my battery's going to die soon, so if I just suddenly stop talking, I'll like charge it. Alrighty, so now, so now that you got your auto lock set to never, now you're good for if for reasons unknown, community sources didn't install. Well, at this point, you would have uninstalled it. Sometimes community sources doesn't install, at which point to do all that BSD subsystem, you just would have had to go down to sources and install it. But once you got uh, community sources going, then you got to the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install an application called Boss Tool. Okay, and there's like a lot of things that start with boss, so you gotta find it. Okay, boss tool. And install that. Okay, once it's done, the home button and every spring. Okay, and now you're gonna get another button. It looks like a like Red Cross bag. So just Tap it, it's going to open up, hit free disk space. And what this basically does, there's two, and you, so I'm just going to like basically summarize this overview up here, you can read it. There's two partitions to the iPod Touches like thing. One is uh, for the operating system, that's where applications that you download are going to go, that's where like ROMs and all that, they all go in there. And it's very small because Apple didn't plan on they didn't know we were going to be able to do all this, so they gave us a very small area for the operating system. The rest is where all your music and video and pictures and things like that go. And that's really gigantic. So what this does is what it can do is it takes your fonts, ringtones, and applications out of the operating system, puts them into the spot where your music and everything goes, and then create links in there so that the iPod knows where to look. Now, if you're on a touch, I'm pretty sure that you can't relocate ringtones, considering I don't think we have any ringtones on the touch. I don't know, you might be able to free up some disk space. Now, I don't really like moving my applications, just because it's kind of buggy, so I would just recommend hitting uh, relocate fonts. I was going to say, uh, you're about to move system library fonts to your last chance to change your mind. It'll take about 30 seconds. Don't mess with the phone during this time. Do it or cancel. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Nothing bad's going to happen. If it does, you can just restore your iPod and you're fine. So just hit do it. Now be careful. Don't touch your iPod. Just let it. You're going to get this spirally thing. And this takes, like I said, about 30 seconds to do. I know it'll look like nothing's happening. Remember the first time I did it, I got scared. I thought something got horribly wrong on the iPod. It's fine. Just wait. And just set it down. Okay, still spiraling at me. I'm just going to turn this off real quick while it does that. Alrighty, guys, so once that's done, your spinny thing is going to disappear. And where it said your free space on the operating system thing. It used to say like 29 or something. Now I've got 111 megabytes free. So that's nice. Hit main menu at the top and then hit home. And now restart your iPod Touch. And I'm going to try and conserve my camera's battery life whenever I can. So I'm going to turn this off while I turn it back on. So just wait for it to turn off and then turn it back on. I'm going to turn my camera off while I'm doing that. Okay, so as you can see, I turned my iPod back on. And there it is. And I can recognize it again because I turned it on. So you have to, once more, eject it from iTunes. Just hit a little circle with the eject button. Okay, so now that you're out of that, I'm going to hold on, my iPod's asleep again. Set power, set the lock. Okay, now that you got all that nice free space for your applications and things, 
go back and do the installer. But, yeah.